We really are putting the S8 for its camera paces now. We've explored its imaging capabilities against a Pixel, an iPhone, and even an old film camera. But I think it's now time to put it against a dedicated modern DSLR, the Canon 70D. To keep things as fair as possible, I've had to do the unthinkable for the DSLR. Auto mode it is, I'm afraid, and the same goes for the S8 too. Now, before you blow up and tell me that isn't how a DSLR is fully utilised, I know. I'm well aware you wouldn't pick up this sort of expensive camera to simply turn it to auto mode. But for this experiment and comparison and keeping fairness in mind as best I can, that's what we're doing. I'm using a Sigma 18-35 on the Canon and keeping it stuck at 18mm. That's the closest focal length I have access to that matches the S8. I'm aware that such a high quality lens speckles the comparison with unfairness as well, as does the 20 megapixel sensor against Samsung's 12 megapixel, but hey, let's dig in anyway. Welcome back to Byte Review. This is the Galaxy S8 camera versus the Canon 70D. Let's get started with some daylight shots. Not an overly interesting image to begin with, but the Canon has done a good job at exposing the scene well and keeping the colours nice and accurate. The S8 has produced a much brighter image but is almost pushing the boat on the bottom left into overexposure. Putting them against each other, you can see the white buoy in the boat on the S8 has no detail at all thanks to that slight overexposure, whereas the Canon has managed to retain some. I can't help but feel this photo could have been a little brighter from the Canon here. I can definitely imagine dialing up if I was to share it. I find the S8's photo a lot more pleasing to the eye with the auto HDR on its side. The brighter exposure makes the photo pop a little better and it hasn't gone overboard on those blues like the Samsung normally does. Zooming right in, both have done a good job of keeping the details on the sign. The S8 is still pushing that sharpness a lot, but overall I think I do prefer the image from the S8 here. There's a nice overall balance from the Canon in this shot, with the shadow cast from the flower making the image pop just that little bit more. Switching to the S8, the picture feels a bit flatter in general thanks to that lack of depth. The reds have been pushed up quite a lot too. Next to each other you can see this quite a lot more, and I prefer the exposure and the colour reproduction from the Canon for sure, as the S8 has pushed those reds a little too far for my taste. This is a good example of the 70D giving us a good sense of depth in the image with the darker parts of the photo. The flowers feel like they're emerging as opposed to all being on the same level. The colours are on point in terms of accuracy too. The S8 has pumped up the greens quite a lot in this image and has a much higher exposure overall. We can see the pinks and blues really popping as well. Zooming right in, you can see the sharpening on the Samsung is super obvious. The lines in the photos, like the edges of the leaves, appear much harsher than the Canon's. The yellow in this photo is a good example of the differences in colour reproduction between these two cameras. The Canon has got a much more realistic approach in this photo, whereas the Samsung has really jumped up the colour quite a lot. I don't really mind this in a phone, I've mentioned previously for director social media sharing, the Samsung does a good job at bumping up the colours, despite them not being overly realistic. Zooming in super far, there is an obvious difference in detail too, with the S8 starting to mush up a little while the Canon keeps things looking a lot more smooth and detailed, thanks to that 20 megapixel sensor. I feel the Canon has underexposed a little here, it's nothing a quick edit couldn't sort out in Lightroom or another app, but it's a shame to see. But saying that, the colour separation and reproduction is great in this photo. While the S8 does a better job with overall exposure, there's a loss of the gold between the sky and the sea. Without any editing, I do just about prefer the S8 image here. It's a similar story with this photo. The Canon's exposure feels a little dark, but the colours all do look great. The S8 has a brighter overall exposure, and I get the sense the HDR is working some of its magic. Both have done a great job with the colours here, and the S8 has held off on boosting the blue too much, which is nice. I like the orange glow from the Canon here. It's a difficult lighting condition, but it's produced a nicely balanced image. The bigger difference between these two shots is in the sand. The S8 loses that orange glow a little and has a more muted look overall. Next to one another, there's more depth of field coming from the Canon, obviously, which I love, but I think this photo comes down to personal preference. For me though, it's got to be the 70D. I love the almost silhouette from the Canon here. 
The glow coming from the cloud looks great too, and it's actually done such a good job here, I'll be pretty light with any edits I would make. Moving to the Samsung, there's actually quite a different photo on show. The S8 has tried to expose everything in the frame, which in turn gives us a lot less of that silhouette effect. It feels like Auto HDR mode kicked in big time to try and get everything exposed. Comparing them together, the difference is actually pretty striking. Again, this is another image where that golden glow comes out in droves on the 70D photos. The sand here has picked it up nicely and has done a great job of exposure too. The S8 has a lot less warmth in the shot with the sand picking up a lot less of that orange gold hue, but it's done a better job with colour accuracy on the shoes. The exposure is good and the shoes are actually closer to their correct colour here, but side by side I still much prefer that shot from the Canon. Straight off the bat we can see some lovely bokeh balls coming off the 70D. It's dealt well with the light coming from the right hand side of the photo too, creating a good overall exposure. The depth of field is on display nicely with our subject popping to great effect. We've obviously got a lot less bokeh coming off the S8, and it's pushing the brightness on the right in my opinion a little too much. Next to each other you can see there is a lot better balance in the Canon's photo, and that bokeh, well it's just unbeatable. Moving into low light situations now. It's quite a clean result from the Canon here, I like the silhouette of the plants in front of the lights too. The overall image feels well balanced, the dark of the night is inky deep which looks great against those bright lights. The flamingo is on the warmer orange side which is something you'll notice coming off this camera in those lower light photos. Switching to the S8 the first thing you'll notice is the difference in colour on the flamingo, which has a much lighter pink hue. Interestingly the actual colour isn't really close to what either of these cameras produced, its original colour lying somewhere between the two. Overall, I prefer the Canon's photo here for that inky black surroundings, as the S8 feels a little grey in comparison. This photo is a better example of the Canon really bringing out that orange hue in the lower light photos. Everything around the jar of light has a really obvious orange tinge to it that I'm not a huge fan of. Throw that against the S8 which has produced a much more natural photo here, with next to no orange, keeping things feeling a lot more realistic in general. I prefer the S8's exposure on the lights here too. That's not to say the S8 is always better with exposure in these situations of course. We've got a nicely controlled image here from the Canon, the sky is inky deep again and the colour of the hedge on the right is super accurate. Looking at the S8's photo, it's made more use of the available light but not to great effect. There's some lens flare going on with the street light and the hedge on the right is looking super saturated. We've also got a bit of that blue creeping into the sky as well. So that just about rounds off this comparison. Of course you wouldn't normally put these two cameras against each other. One is a professional tool while the other is a convenience that we have in our pocket. There's benefits of a DSLR that go way beyond what we looked at today, and shooting in auto mode really isn't a good way of showing what the Canon was capable of. And at the end of the day, a dedicated camera will always produce better images than our phones. Regardless of that, I think the S8 did a good job of some landscape style shots thanks to its awesome auto HDR, and it certainly took some good photos in low light too. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know which was your favourite below, and I will see you all in the next one.